Capricorn, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. This is going to be for September 27th. Ooh, that's going to be a significant day, but I meant to say 22nd through the 30th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, um, so not all the messages are going to resonate. And if you want something tailored specifically for you, the link to book that reading is in the description box below. So the 27th of this month, there's going to be something significant that happens. Um, pay attention to that day. Let's see what you guys have coming up. So Six of Cups, the World card, Three of Cups, the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Judgment, Ace of Cups. All right, so someone is not prepared to let you go, despite the fact that you may have moved on from the connection. Excuse me. And the, despite the fact that um, you are having your eyes on something else other than this individual. So someone from the past wants to return with the Six of Cups. This is somebody that you had a lot of memories with. Somebody that, you know, you had some type of bond with. And I say had because I feel like they did something to deceive you. Or they did something to ultimately break your trust. And now they're trying to restore um, some type of faith that you they think you have in them. But really what they don't understand is that you are... You, you've already moved on or you're working on moving on and you don't want to start that cycle back up again. So with the world card, some of you may be dealing with the Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, maybe even a Libra or a Pisces. Um, but with the world card, some of you are starting new cycles. So you're trying to end any old resentment or any old things that you're carrying behind you, any baggage. But someone's not understanding that because they want to reunite with you. They want to have a new start. They want to have a new opportunity. But what you understand is that your intuition is already telling you to avoid this person. The high priestess is you listening to your inner voice, your subconscious. So some of you may be having a lot of things that are revealed in your dream state. So pay attention to anything that might seem unusual um, when, you, when you have dreams. Maybe even write them down. But with the Knight of Pentacles, you're slowly but surely working on your stability. So this could be your finances or just you healing or mending anything that may be holding you back. Because you are in the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, this is that Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. Some of you are between the ages of 20 and 35. Others of you, um, you just are young at heart. But you have to be careful of people around you that don't have good intentions. These are people that lie, that steal, that cheat. Um, they're malicious. They speak ill of other people. And I feel like you're realizing that the people that you've been surrounding yourself with are not of, you know, the best of intentions or they don't have as good of a heart as you do. And you need to protect yourself because these people will use you to no end. So you have to be the person to have boundaries um, to not let these people in. So this could be anything from family members to friends to people in your close circle that you're now realizing have not really been on your team all along. They've just either used you or there was some type of benefit that they had from being around you. And if this was a love interest, this person stole from you. If it wasn't money, then they stole your time, your efforts, your dedication. And whatever it is that you were feeding them, they went to go give that to someone else. Now they're realizing that the grass was not greener on the other side and they want to come back and try to do a 180. But the universe is protecting you in some type of way with the high priestess, the judgment card, and the world. Like, they're not going to let this individual come back into your life um, as easily as they thought that they would. I feel like you see things a lot differently now. Um, a lot of things have been illuminated that you may not have realized in the past. And it's more of, like, the intentions of other people as well as what you've allowed um, individuals to treat you like. With the Ace of Cups, some of you have found a path towards self-love. Or you're asked to focus on self-love, self-care, self-admiration, because that's what's going to help you see right from wrong um, as far as what people have and their intentions towards you. Let me get another deck. That way I can get some additional messages. What do my Capricorns need to know? Okay, what do Capricorns need to know? Six of Cups again. So be careful with this child energy because I do feel heavy pregnancy in the air. So if you're not trying to get anybody pregnant or if you don't want to be pregnant yourself, make sure you're taking those proper precautions. The Hierophant is here to show that there is a commitment that's in store for you. If you are single, I feel like you're going to end up 
meeting somebody or you already know someone that you have your eye on. And this is somebody that has been there for you throughout the hard times. Um, whoever this individual is, you have a lot of love and nurturing energy towards them. They may have approached you previously with an offer of love, but you were not in a place where you were ready to accept it. Either because this Knight of Pentacles was taking all your time, your efforts, your dedications. Um, or because, you know, you just were in a healing process. But you're coming out of that now. And with the King of Swords, you are looking very strong on the outside. Someone who has the energy of a leader. Someone who's very logical and cerebral driven. An individual that is sitting on their throne and they know what they have to offer. So it's like you've learned the lesson of self-worth, self-love, self-admiration. And... People from the past are wanting to come back to you, but what they don't understand is that you're not the same person that you were possibly even six months ago because you've been going through a reoccurring death process where it's kind of like a rebirth. So with the Five of Pentacles, if you've been having issues with finances or issues, you know, paying your bills, that is going to alleviate as time goes on. But I feel like there are some drastic things that you need to take as far as lifestyle. Um, don't live above your means. Don't overspend. Um, budget in some type of way and with the higher font being here some of you may work for law enforcement or work in an institution in some type of way I just feel like there will be a celebration that's at hand the holidays are around the corner so that makes sense to me and with the four of cups there will be missed opportunities so despite the fact that you're going to get multiple offers just know that not all of these paths are going to be meant for you and that you're going to have to reject some people to hurt feelings, especially if that's not something you like to do. Um, only one of these cups is actually the one that's meant for you, and you already know which path to take. As far as this new love that's coming into your life, with the Justice card being here, it's like you have your eye on someone that has been investing into you for some time. I don't feel like you guys ever had a formal commitment, but I do feel like it was a strong bond or just a different type of bond that didn't involve all of the 3D aspects of life where you have to be together, where you have to be boyfriend, girlfriend, moving in together. It's like you maintain some type of spiritual bond with somebody that you're close to and this is what, what you want to move towards. And I feel like it's destined for you to do this because this person, there, you have some type of karma to fill out with them and it doesn't necessarily have to be negative karma. It just means that for everything that you've been putting out, the universe wants to give you a new offer, and it's something that's going to help you not only heal emotionally, but to find peace and happiness in the area and in the matters of love. So when you get this choice, you already know which choice not to make. Because one of these people, um, they have kind of dragged you down to a place that you never want to go back to. This could be depression, suicidal thoughts, or just being at such a low point because of the deception and the lies and the trickery that you don't want to go revisit that. So this is a test. Which path are you going to take? Are you going to accept the path? Are you going to accept the person from the past that, you know, puts you through a lot of turmoil, they caused you a lot of instability, they may have even stolen from you. This is a person that was close to the devil, so I don't know if they have any ties to the dark arts. That is a possibility because I do feel heavy like Jezebel spirit. So this would be the type of person that you have good intimacy with. Like this, the connection when it came to sex was strong, but that was about the only thing that they had to offer. If you really paid attention to it, it's like they gave you the illusion of being stable and grounded, but really it was more about lust and all the dark things in life. So with the Tower card, if you choose that path, it's going to just cause more destruction in your life. It's going to cause you to have major losses, just not even financially, but spiritually as well, where you'll end up losing friends and family members until you get on the right path. Or you can choose the individual that is destined for you with the Justice card. And this is going to be something that's slow to build, but it's going to be built on more stable foundation. You know how they say anything worth having um, doesn't just come right away well that's the vibe that i'm getting with this individual like you're both gonna have to put in dedication time and effort in order to make the relationship or the connection grow but it's destined for you to feel like you need to go towards that path let me get you some best advice moving forward best advice for my capricorn new location so either you're moving or you're thinking about moving or some of you are in the process of doing that Problems resolved. So anything that's bothering you, any type of worries that you may have, I want you to just let them go because the issues have already been taken care of in the ethers. 
It's just a matter of time before that energy transfers to the 3D. So just know whatever you're worried about, it's already been resolved. Awakening to your true self. Some of you are, have been having some type of awakening phase, which has been pushing you to isolate yourself a bit more from other people because you are kind of taking this journey inside of yourself. So any type of questions, anything that you wonder about when it comes to the world, with heavy meditation, I feel like you can find that all the answers start within you. With new location, either you're going to be traveling or some of you will not only be moving jobs or places, homes, but there's just a new location that's in store for you in the future. So that's the end of your reading. Um, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.